Hello, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to play Octopus's Garden in the key of C. Now in this video, I'm going to be briefly reviewing how to do the chords. So if you are feeling like you're confident and you just want to skip along to different parts of the song and get to know the sections, feel free to use the timestamps in the description and I will also put them in the screen so you can see what time is what part of the video. I like to use this song when introducing students to the Beatles and kind of music that they made because it's a very kid-friendly song and it's a very approachable song. However, Ringo Starr it was not a small child, so he sang in a very low key. I think it's the key of E. Um, in this version, we're going to learn Octopus's Garden in the key of C because it's a little bit easier to play and it's a little bit more approachable for uh, my female voice and for my students' young, higher voices. So that's what we're doing. This is a song where I like to talk a lot about form because it's very interesting in this song. Each of the verses of the song has its own A-A-B-A -A -A form, meaning that it has the same chord progression, same chord progression twice, then something different, and then that same thing from before. So I think that's interesting and it makes the song easier and faster to learn. Let's just get started. So for all the verses, you're going to start with C. And you're going to just put your third finger on that a string, third fret. From there you're going to go to A minor. And I do have a low, uh, a low G on my ukulele. If yours is high, it doesn't matter, it's still going to make an A minor chord. Second finger goes down, second fret of your G string, and that's A minor. Add first finger for F, and then going from F to G7 is fairly easy, you're just going to move second finger to the C string and you're going to add your third finger for G7. And then you're going to do that again. So you're going to go C, 2, 3, 4, change, A minor, 2, 3, 4, F, 1, 2, 3, 4, G7, 2, 3, and you do that two times through. Now here's the B section. You're going to start on A minor. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. And then add first finger for F. One, two, three, four. And then G7. Two, three. Now A again. Now here's part A again. C, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, four. It's a little bit faster for the end of the verse. It goes F, two, G7, two, C, two, three, four. And that's all the verses. So if you're just doing that part of the song, it should be pretty easy to pick up. We'll do the first verse only. My strumming pattern is going to be down, down, and down. want to modify by just going down, 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 or you just want to go down, 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 whatever pattern you want to do, or just one, two, three, four, whatever you want. Take your time. Enjoy the process. So here you go, starting on C. I just like to put a little emphasis that it's like Garden with me. It's just something to make it interesting. You can do that if you want. It's just four down strokes. And then I'd like to be
And the next verse is exactly like that. And the last verse is exactly like that. But between, and this is the fun part, between the second and third verses, there is another section where George Harrison's playing this killer guitar solo. It's so cool. And it's different. It has different chords. It's in a different key. It is the B section of the song. So all the verses are A, A, B, A form. And the whole song is also A, A, B, A form. I think that's really cool. And I'm a nerd. The kind of fun part about this B section is that it is sort of the same chord progression, but it's in a different key. So before we were in C and this chord progression is an F major chord progression. So we're going to use some different chords. Take a look. So we're going to start on F. Then we're going to add third finger for D minor. And this is kind of tricky. If you haven't done bar chords, this is going to take some practice. But B flat is third finger on G string. And then you press down both of these strings with your uh, first finger. So it's a half bar chord. So you go B flat and then C. And then you do that again. F. D minor, B flat, C, and then one more time, D minor, B flat, C, and then F, G7, and then you're back to the third verse, and that's C. Um, so about the B flat, if you don't get that right away, that's okay. I'm finding bar chords are just like any other technical thing. Like really, you're, it's muscle memory, but also muscle strength. I'm a trumpet player, so a lot of what we do is about, yeah, learning what your face does, but also having the strength to do it. Practice it a little bit each day. Don't go overboard and try to get it all in one day. Just do it a little bit at a time. And start with half bar chords, because... Getting two strings to ring is a lot easier than trying to get all four strings to ring. Do it like that. If it doesn't ring right away and you're just getting like, like that, it's still going to sound like a B-flat major chord. It's just a matter of getting your hands to learn how to do it. So I guess the last thing to do now that we've looked at the verse, now that we've looked at the verse and we've looked at the B section, is to put it together and do a little play along. So I will, uh, I will put a link to my chord sheet in the description of this video if you want to print it out so you just have it. Yeah, it's kind of handwritten, but whatever. Probably get a bunch of words wrong, but uh, it's okay. We're just playing along. Maybe I'll harmonize with you. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to skip the little George Harrison guitar solo and we're just going to start in C and one. Two, ready, go. One, two, here's the progression. I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. He let us in, knows where we've been in an octopus's garden in the shade. Here's the B section.
ending. So we go. Um, in an octopus's garden, G7 with you. That's called a deceptive cadence. Can you imagine why? Because it makes you think that we're gonna go to C, but instead we go to A minor and it we start over and over and uh, until it ends. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I know it's been a while since the last time I've done these, but I get a lot of requests for more tutorials. Please let me know what kinds of songs you would like to learn um, because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't really do these very often, but I will if I knew what songs to do because there's a lot of great content out there on YouTube already. If I can do more to add to what is already there, I think that would be more useful for the general of YouTube. So let me know. In the meantime, stay mindful, stay musical, and stay out of trouble.